Hey there guys and gals, and welcome to Let's Play To The Moon. Uh, this game was recommended to me, and the person who recommended it said I might cry. So, I'm looking forward to it. I don't know I have anything else planned for right now, so... I decided uh, I might as well give this a shot. Um, excuse any sort of quality issues. Um, I am playing this with a different software uh, because Fraps doesn't like it so I'm using Camtasia and also I have to like play it in a really small window so I'm going to fucking magnetize it for myself oh look at that the magnetizer was in the fucking way great go away go over there there we go <laughs> this is a great start thanks I, uh, anyway, uh, let's just begin. Begin. The reason that I decided to magnetize it is the window is really small. Like, I don't know how big it is, like 640 by, I don't know. Say 640 by 640. That is really fucking small. <laughs> Uh, also, I'm kind of hoping the audio is okay. Um, from my test recordings, the audio in the game was actually quite low. But I'm hoping I have good enough editing skills to make sure that is fixed in production. <laughs> Post-production, I mean. Okay, two kids playing with piano. And that sounded like a car crash. There's something on the road. Is it dead? Oh, it's dead. Where were you looking, Neil? Well, excuse me for heroically evading that squirrel coming out of nowhere. You ran over it anyways. Oh. You ran over it and hit a tree. Look, don't worry about it, it's a company car. Are you kidding me? The boss is going to kill us. Hmm. We'll just say I was saving a puppy. He likes puppies, right? He's more of a cat person. Why does the world have to be so complicated? Fine, whatever furball he fancies, crisis averted. Good, go write that on your report later. Let's grab the equipment from the car and move already. Left, cl uh, left click to interact with an object. Okay. Received equipment. Got the sucker, let's roll! Right click to toggle the menu or cancel. Okay. That's interesting. Uh, do I click to go where I want to? Or do I... Okay, I can use the arrow keys, that's okay. Uh, let's go this way. The sign to the house points the other way. Oh. How kind of it to exist. What a... I can't tell who's more bitchy, the girl or the guy. Wiles, household ahead. Putting a sign when... Putting up a sign when they live in the middle of nowhere is like asking to be robbed. You gonna rob them, huh? Hey, wait, don't forget the car. Just wanted to see if you'd remember. How thoughtful of you. Uh, they have a nice relationship together. Uh, this way. I'm gonna guess. Because stairs. Who put a boulder here? Maybe it's their security system. Cucumbers, we don't have time for this fluff. Let's try pushing it out of the way. Maybe we could find a tree branch to jack it with? Wait. Or we could just call it a night and blame it on that. Push my hand. Alright, on three. One, two, three. 
What? That boulder's made of flubber. I... I don't even... What was that? Flubber. Not a boulder, that's for sure. Uh... We need to get going for now. We'll... We'll figure out that thing later. Right... Well... This is not the best time for my nose to want to sneeze. And there was a squirrel there. Cute those squirrels! Oh, so cute! Uh... Okay, there's the kids again. Man, they're here! Is that a boy or a girl? I can't fucking tell. Well, I can tell that's a woman that's coming. <laughs> that one's easy to tell. Not a bad place to retire at, huh? I could do better. Night shifts. Love them or hate them. You know the answer, you stupid owl. Well, I'm gonna guess he likes them. It's probably gonna be another all nighter, you know. I know. And I doubt they'd have any coffee. Shut up. And the ocean waves will sing lullabies. Not through your bladdering, they won't. And your eyelids will... Don't forget the equipment, moron. I don't get paid enough for this. Act 1. I never told anyone, but I've always thought they were lighthouses. What? What were lighthouses? Don't throw something like that in there and then... Dr. Watts and Dr. Rosaline, I presume. Thanks for coming on such short notice. That's okay, I tend to be bad at predicting deaths as well. Are you the patient's daughter? Oh, no. I'm just his caretaker. And these are my children, Sarah and Tommy. Okay, so one's a girl and one's a boy. Okay. It's not exactly a 9-to-5 job, so Johnny lets us live here. I suppose this Johnny is our man. Johnny? Listen, if it's a kid we're dealing with, I don't think we're the ones you want. No, no. He just prefers to be called that. He's upstairs right now with his medical doctor. Come with me. Come on, grab that case and let's go. When my back breaks one day, I'll sue you with the insurance claim. Receive the equipment again. Alright, let's head upstairs before I drop this. Okay, so from... The... I looked up a walkthrough of this. Like, just to get an idea of time. Okay, they're gone. Whoever gets to play... Whoever gets there first gets to play the melody. No fair! You pushed me! Did not. Whatever. You get the boring two notes anyway. That's actually a nice little melody. I'm gonna tell that I, I, I can tell I'm gonna like the music in this game. Um, anyway, as I was saying, I looked up a walkthrough for this just to get an idea of times. And so this is gonna be like, I don't know, a three hour game from the looks of things. So it's gonna be relatively short. Those kids are pretty good for their age. Hey, you're the one that said there was no time to waste, and incidentally, I'm the one who is carrying the weight of the sm of a small meteoroid. 
Yeah, yeah, come on. Did I say meteoroid or meteorite? I think I read that wrong. Oh well, it happened. Oh great, another woman to voice. I'm running out of female voices. Uh, there we go. Uh, excuse me. He's unresponsive at this point, but by the looks of things, he's still consciously hanging on. It's hard to say how long you'll have, but I would hurry. Okay. Ready to set up? Set the machine down. Yes, it'll be just a moment. Also, it's been really fucking warm here, and my throat does not feel good. And having to do a lot of high-pitched voices <laughs> is bad. Are you sure a common household power outlet is sufficient? No worries, we're the experts. Oh crap. Standard procedures, just keeping you on your toes. What's up with those books on the shelf? They look important. How's he doing? Not so well. If I were to say, he's got just a day or two left. That's plenty of time. So you two can grant him any wish, huh? To try, at least. But we always succeed, because we're awesome. So, what was the wish? The moon. The moon. The moon. He wants to go to the moon. The geezers just keep on getting crazier, huh? So, can you do it? It depends. She meant to say yes. Why don't you tell us about our client here? That I really don't know much about. Johnny's an odd man. Though the two years that I've worked here, he rarely spoke. True. I'm gonna guess that fucking said. I can't read for shit. Apparently. He worked as a craftsman for most of his life, and his wife passed away two years ago. I don't really know many details. I would have known more if I were his paper boy for Pete's sake. Shush. Just do your thing. Well, I suppose if you look around the house, you may find some more information. I suppose Johnny wouldn't mind since he signed for you two. Hmm. So be it. Alright, which of us gets to play detective? Thanks for the offer, but I'm busy leaving a bot print on this chair. Right, to continue. Tommy and Sarah c Ugh. Tommy and Sarah can show you around. They're probably at the piano downstairs. Alright, cool. What are those books? A selection of readings from medical journals. Okay, interesting. And what's down here? I'm just a nosy SLB. I'll look at everything. A casual painting of three people. A painting of an animal of some sort. A painting of a woman holding something yellow and blue. A painting of a lighthouse by a cliffside. Oh, there's an arrow there. Is that a door? Well, let's get out of the way. Oh, it's a bathroom. Fancy! Can I interact with sink? Interact with toilet? Nope. Huh. Interact with the lights. Okay. Now can I interact with the toilet? No. Okay. I'll give up on my dreams for the toilet. Okay, so there was nothing interesting to look at in there. I just wasted my time. And everyone else's. Good to know. Okay, let's go look at the brats. 
Wait, come back here for a moment. I can't remember what voice I gave this one, not all. I have something for you. Here, take this. Received remote patient monitor. That'll keep you updated on Johnny's status. Thanks. I was just going to ask for it. No, you weren't. I was about to go and see the kids. Johnny's heart monitor is now activated in the menu. Really? Where? Oh, there it is. Cool. And I did not mean to do that. Apparently, zero on my numpad also opens the menu. Hey, brats, show me around this house. What you want? That was not the voice I gave her earlier, was it? <laughs> Sarah, Tommy, right? Your mother said to ask you two to show me around the house. Okay, maybe we will. Maybe. I think we just need a little convincing, that's all. What do you think, Tommy? Yeah! Uh, what would you like? We want one trillion dollars. We want one trillion dollars. <laughs> I can't do a fucking good, uh... What was his name in the movie? I can't remember. Anyway. Or the candy cane mom hides from us. Yeah, or that. Huh? There's a giant candy cane on top- Ugh. I couldn't tell which kid was saying it. There's a giant candy cane on top of a high shelf that we can't reach. It's in the kitchen. Ugh. My voice is just- It doesn't know what it wants to do. It's in the kitchen. Ma put it there to save for when we do chores. Get it for us and we'll give you a tour through the house. What do you say? Well... Sure. My mother used to keep candies on high shelves, too. Alright, I'll go get it. The kitchen door is right next to the stairs. Now go! Uh, I'm gonna guess it's this one, then. There's that candy cane. Well, there's an ottoman right there, so I'm gonna guess I use that. Yep. This reminds me of those RPG maker horror games that I used to play, like, years ago. Candy cane. Um, terrible calories. This actually reminds me of, uh, Mad Fatter. That was the first game I ever played on my channel, actually. <laughs> Just because of the art style. This story, I, I've been told, is really deep and meaningful. Okay, I got what you wanted. Good old candy cane. If you come and give me a tour at this instant, I won't sneeze on it. Ha! Huh? That's the one way of blackmail a kid. Okay, where do you want to start? I know! There's this funny room in the basement! I don't like the funny room. What do you mean by funny room? You'll see! It's weird. We need the keys, though. The old man hid it inside a book in the study. I'm gonna guess study's over here, yeah? This is the book room. The key is the key to the funny room is in the thickest book on the upper shelf. Okay. Switch on the lights. I can't read that. I wanted to read. I like to read. The Pilgrim's Gr The Pilgrim's Guide to Origami. Volume one The Key to Avoiding Paper Cuts. Read passage. The Pilgrim's Guide to Origami has already supplanted the Great Wikipedia Origamia. Wikipedia Origamia. Okay. 
as the standard repository for all knowledge and wisdom about paper folding, for though it has many omissions and contains much uh, that is apocryphal, apocryphal, yeah. You see, I've not, I've never fucking came across that word in my day-to-day -day life. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Or at least wildly inaccurate. It scores over the older, more pedestrian work in two important respects. First, it is made of paper, and secondly, it provides numerous band-aids to make up for the inevitable paper cuts resulting from the reading of this book. Sure. For the Grand Origami Master, it is absolutely essential for each origami to be completed in exactly 42 moves. In most origami- uh, origami. Not origami. Or- <laughs> Oregano! Origami tournaments, scissor cuts are considered cheating, but uppercuts are deemed legal. Oh, for f it's gonna be one of those games, isn't it? With like puns and shit. That's my job. Dusklight, the tale of a girl who fell in love with a zombie who emitted the smell of daisies when showered with gentle sunlight. Oh, I guess not. Still a better love story than Twilight. Uh, maybe another year. Received a rim key. He chose its hiding spot well. Oh, burn! I like this game. Tommy used to throw books at me and call it a book fight. Until one day I threw one back and he hit me through the band aid. Hee <laughs> hee! Well, aren't you a bitch? We can all be in the funny room in the basement now! Thank you for narrating my entire life. This is the basement we play hide and seek here. Turn on the light before you trip over something. Uh, can I look around in here first? Too? I want to look at the other stuff before I open the funny room. Cabinet is filled with unused fine china. Okay. Cabinet is filled with dusty books. Box is filled with colored papers. Colored papers, I'm gonna guess, are the origami paper? By whoever used to do origami. Locked. Door is locked. Open the door of the room key. Yay! Oh my gosh, I really need to sneeze. It's like a cave in here. Well, there's a light right there. The hell? Origami bunnies everywhere. A rabbit folded out of paper. I can do one of those. A stuffed toy platypus. It looks adorable enough to annoy Neil. Might come in handy. Okay. Take it then. I don't know why, but okay. A broken music box. Can I... Can I go past the bunnies, please? No. Okay. I guess the platypus is all of it. Did he see it? What do you two know about all those rabbits? Nothing. The old man didn't want anyone to go inside, so we never told him. There are more of them, actually. Where? Inside the abandoned lighthouse. It's just beneath this cliff. Wanna go see? I got the keys. You aren't supposed to go in there either, are you? Eee! <laughs> Remind me to never take you to Neil's house. So you wanna go to the lighthouse? Well, it's rather cold outside, but... I would say go to the lighthouse. You know what? Fine. Maybe it'll tell me more about those rabbits. Let's go check out that old lighthouse. Well, like... It'd be stupid not to, right? 
There's also a room over here I want to go check out. It's another bathroom! Well, of course, I find all the bathrooms. That's the first room I always find whenever I go into a new house. Apparently. Okay, so the intro cutscene showed a lighthouse this way. There it is. There it is! Well, no shit, I just said that, you little... Bleh. We need to head south to the street and take it... and take another path to get down there, though. Yeah, I forgot my parachute. Well... Bleh. I could always toss you over the cliff and then land on your bodies. It would be soft enough after fattening you up with the candy cane. I'm evil. I like it. I like being evil. Like squirrel. Okay, so we have to go take the other street? It's here! Huh? My novelty beach ball! I thought I'd lost it! Ah. Oh. It's stupid anyway! Oh, I'll never lose it again. I'm gonna hide it, don't look. Uh, there's no time. Okay, Dan. Uh, okay. Let's hurry up to that lighthouse. It's smoking! Who's the dummy that crashed the car? Not me. It's pretty dark out. Aren't you kids scared? Of course not. We roleplay it anyway. What? Tommy's a super powerful knight and I'm a mighty magician. Yeah, we destroy all evil. Oh, that's, uh, that's nice. Do you roleplay too? I, uh, no. She's not cool enough to do it. Hey, I could if I wanted to. Just you children watch. I don't want to see what the hell you would roleplay as, lady. Ooh, it's a squirrel! Uh, okay. Oh no, it's a terrible squirrel gone. Excuse the hell out of me! What the hell is this right now? Final Fantasy? Don't worry, children. I'll protect you. What? Just what? <laughs> okay, let's see if I can get this straight. Drop kick the bitch. Bitch slap the bitch. Punch it. Or just throw your fucking shoe. Shoe. Yelling volume. Loud, louder, loudest. Loudest. Your, uh, time is at an end, squirrel gone. Hey ya! Stop it! I will tell my you abuse animals! Yeah! She'll call the police on you! What? I was just. I wasn't gonna. Didn't you say you liked role playing? <laughs> that squirrel's like, fuck you, I'm out here, I'm just a squirrel. I don't like role plays. <laughs> you should be ashamed of yourself! Let's name it Teddy! Okay. Let's just forget this happened. I want to. Birdie. Okay. The birdie just sings. Nice to know. I am really confused. <laughs> like... I don't know. What the fuck is this? Oh, that was so much comedy at the start, you can just fucking tell it's gonna get really sad real fast. Excuse me, I just need a drink of water while I try and play this.
Uh, my water's warm. Yuck. Hold on. What's that over there? What's what? The stone, you mean? In memory of River E. Wiles. River Wiles? Was she John's wife? Then now! Come on, the lighthouse is right here! Uh, okay. What kind of lighthouses are hexagonal? Mmm, creepy bunnies. This is it! Oh, now you can walk on the bunnies. A multicolored paper rabbit. Hey, this wasn't here when we came last week. Oh yeah, Johnny must have came here before he fell ill again. This is only one with two colors, huh? You know, these things actually look pretty hard to fold. Kind of an odd hobby, though. Oh, that's my phone. It's Watts. Is everything ready? Alright, I'll be right there. Why do you have a creepy ringtone? As it scares the monsters away? Come on, let's head back. Received a paper rabbit. Cool. So how did these help me though? Like, why do I have these? Are my legs dead? Because I'm sitting, like, with it folded. You know. Ah, fuck it. Oh, why do you have to be late by another half an hour? Oh, why don't you be late by another half hour? It's not like you're, we've got a dying client, dying client, or uh, dying client or anything. What is wrong with my tongue? I got caught up in something. I got caught up in something too. It's called her job. Get off your high horse. I'm late just this one time, and you milk it. At least tell me we're going. We're good to go. Of course we are, because I'm competent. Your helmet's on the couch. Chop chop. Okay. Initiate. All right. Here we go. Bing. Reminds me of that crappy fucking animated sword art online. Link start the. I can't do a Japanese accent to save my life. 